Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today I'm going to show you how I made a few accessories out of some scraps and also how I customized a Crisen Bond kit. Now this is a little picture frame that I made from a SIM card punch out. And this is the Crisen Bond kit that I actually painted. I originally painted it brown thinking that I was going to try to simulate wood. And then I decided I wanted to use my tester's gold paint and actually make it look a little bit more metallic. Now the brown acrylic undercoat is not necessary for the testers paint. The testers metallic paints will look metallic whether you do an undercoat or not. They make wonderful finishes because they're actually usually used for model cars for the chrome and the metallic parts on automobiles, model automobiles. But to me it was really, really great for this particular project because I thought it really brought the items to life and really, really brought out the details. Now, this is that little box that I made for Marguerite, I actually made it for Sadi to give to Marguerite, and I had originally used Rub and Buff on it, but today I hit it with a quick coat of the tester's paint on top of that lace to really bring it out and make it look metallic. Now, after the tester's paint dried, I decided to add a little nail art to the pieces to give them a little bit more detailing. Now, I had some of those little rings, and I added them to the top of this little cosmetic jar lid. Now here you see me adding a little acrylic paint to the bottom of the little cosmetic jar to give the impression that there's some type of powder or makeup in the jar. Now in this frame I added a little Elmer's glue and then packed it with baby powder. Now after I got the amount of baby powder in the container I shaved off the top and then I packed it down a little bit to make it look like it had dents in it to give the impression that it had been used. Now this was a little picture frame that came with the vanity set and I used a little bit more of my nail art to enhance the frame. At first I wasn't sure if my idea would work but when I realized that the little circle was the same size as the opening on the frame I proceeded to add the glue and fit it around the opening. Now here I am back with the little SIM card frame and I added some lace trim around it and added a picture of my grandmother when she was young to the frame. Now in this instance I used a shoe clip to be the stand for my little frame. And I added a little bit of glue to the shoe clip. And dolls, when I say shoe clip, it's the little part where you put ornaments on the front of your shoe to make it look a little bit more decorative. I ripped off the decoration and I'm using it as a picture frame stand. I think that turned out really nice and this picture of grandma will be really cute on Marguerite's table. And please don't panic, I do have other pictures of grandma. <laughs> now I found a single earring. It didn't have a mate to it and I thought it looked kind of cute. It's a clip earring and I broke off the clip and I'm going to use it as a picture. Now this is a beautiful rug that a friend of mine gave me and I thought it might look really nice in Marguerite's room to make it look a little cozier and softer. And I also considered using this screen to also give her a little bit more privacy in her room while she's dressing. But I will need to do a little bit to it to make it where you can't see through it. But let's go ahead and see what's inside Marguerite's trunk. Now it looks like Marguerite is quite stylish because she has some lovely blouses in her trunk. It makes sense that she's going to be a seamstress. And then she's got some other toiletry items. There's a little puff for her body powder. That's really cute. She has several bottoms of perfume and lotion and things to go on her vanity in her room. She's such a lady. And you see that little ink pen there. That's a really simple project. It's just an earring back with a feather stuck in it, dolls. There's another little stack of mail. And she's even got a little pack of buttons in there. Now those other little toiletry jars are made from clay and random beads that I had. So if you haven't seen my videos about making perfume bottles and toiletry items, I'll definitely leave a link in the description. Now this is a lovely little compact I purchased quite a while back. Now dolls, this compact actually opens and closes, but I do show you how to make a simple non-opening compact that you can use on your dresser or vanity. And I will leave a link in the description for that video for you to check out. 
Now, I hate to just ramble through Marguerite's things, but I just want you dolls to see the things that she has in the bottom of her trunk. She has another little purple shirt. She has a little vase that she brought from home to use to decorate her room. She has a lovely little iron that she's going to use when she starts sewing in the new dress shop. I think that's adorable. I've had it for quite some time, so I thought it would be nice for her to bring with her. She's got a little container of starch that'll help her keep her shirts and blouses nice and crisp while she's away from home. Marguerite absolutely loves to read, and here's a little wooden book she brought with her. Do you see how these details are telling you a story? I'm not surprised to see this well-worn journal. Marguerite has a lot of feelings to share and write down. I guess I'll have to do a book video one day. <laughs> And then at the bottom of everything, she has a beautiful pink hanger, and I will leave a link in the description for that video. Now, she's also got a little shower cap. I thought that was really cute, and a box with her curlers in it, and a bar of soap. So I just wanted you dolls to see what was inside her trunk. I do need to make her some additional accessories for her bedroom and for her armoire, but this was just a quick peek at what she's got inside her trunk. So let's put these things away and go ahead and pick out some things to decorate her room and finish getting her bedroom all set up. So dolls, many times when I have little projects, small projects like books or pictures and things like that, I make way more than I need and I store the rest because they're accessories and you need multiples. And if you make a few extra... You'll have them on hand when you get ready to decorate a scene because many times you need fillers. Lots of pictures on the wall, books on the tables, things laying in the chairs. You want your house to look like it has life and it's details like this that do that. You don't want your rooms to look sparse and lifeless. Now this is a box that I have a lot of frames, I have pictures, I have cameos, I have all kinds of things that I've saved that I use as decorations for the walls and I'm just trying to select a few pieces that I think will look nice on Marguerite's wall. Now you see here dolls I'm checking another container because I have some other options because sometimes you don't know what you need so you want to pull together everything you have available and then choose from that selection. Anytime you make more than you need just save it you will be able to use it for another project. Now here you see me trying to drill a hole in that little vase. It's actually two bead caps glued to a big bead to look like a vase. That's why drilling a hole wasn't working. <laughs> but I turned it into a vase anyway. I added a little glue to the top of the bead cap and glued in some little yellow flowers that I thought would look really nice and dainty to add a little color to the table at the foot of her bed. Now here you see me adding some of the little toiletry items to the table and I'm using little dabs of tacky wax at the bottom of the bottles to keep them in place and keep them from sliding off. And I'm just putting a little dab at the bottom. I'm really trying not to over wax because that is my tendency dolls. And now I have the little Prism Bond set that I customize and I'm adding it to the table as well. Now dolls, when you're staging or setting up your pieces for your dollhouse adding accessories, you want to put things on the table in a way that a person or the dolls actually may use them. Your perfume bottles are more toward the back. Maybe some of the smaller ones are in the front. The smaller little nail implements would be on the tray. I placed the comb and the brush together kind of toward the edge because that would have been maybe something they used last and I actually set the compact sort of to the back so it wouldn't fall off. But you just want to think about how the dolls use the items and that will help you determine how to naturally place the items and position them on your tabletops. And for a setting like this, you want things to look a little bit disorderly and randomly placed. They should look like someone was in a hurry, not perfect. I love to see a little humanity in my doll houses, a little imperfection. That looks natural to me. So now that I have the general setup, I'm adding a couple extra things like my little rollers that are made from some springs. And I think that looks really, really cute. So let's go see how it looks inside the room. So here's a glance at Marguerite's room with her wall decorations. And we've got her bag on top of her armoire. Now, I did swap out her rug to use the rug that was in the music room for 
rather than the one I had originally chosen. She's unpacked a couple of her blouses and her books. So let's zero in on that dressing table. I think that looks really, really lovely. And I found her a nice mirror to put on the wall. And I've got those two little blue pictures, which are actually big jump rings with pictures in the back. So things are looking really, really cozy in Marguerite's room. I just kind of want to take you through it slow. But I do want to zoom in a little bit on that dressing table. Although Marguerite's table looks great, that floor looks a little dusty. I'll make sure the dolls take care of that before she comes to her room. And I really love how things aren't matchy-matchy, but everything coordinates. I'm really excited to see what she thinks about the room. I almost forgot to bring in her last few accessories that she had with her when she actually came in this room the first time when it wasn't decorated. So there I hung her little hat on the door. And I also had her little purse that she was carrying with her when she first came to the rooming house. And she also had a lovely pair of gloves. There are links in the description for the trunk, the purse, and the carpet bag, and also how to fix and dress Marguerite's bed. Now, this is just a quick glance inside the music room to show you what I did with that other rug. <laughs> now, dolls, there are a couple more things I'd like to do with Marguerite's room before I'm done, but that'll be another video. Now, I just wanted to show you, dolls, that I decided against decorating the screen for Marguerite's room because they found the key to her bedroom. So the dolls are going to save the screen for the dress shop. Now if you've enjoyed this video today dolls definitely let me know in the comments. Also like share and subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye bye now dolls.